Hey guys, it's Gavin here, and we're back with some more Fatal Frame 4. Alright, so, uh, we are going to, uh, now see what was behind this chair that we apparently didn't have the, uh, physical strength to move out of the way, even though it's just a fucking wheelchair. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> the way I swear, the way this fucking character just just sways her hips around when she runs. You even call this running? Okay. Oh. So she is. All right. Aha. Caught that first glimpse. Honk honk. That's what I heard outside just now. Well, there's the wheelchair. A moon key. Patient room corridor. Wait, there's a coffin in here. Wait, wait, what? I saw that blue. I saw that blue. Or was that Ah. Oh. Gee, thanks. Oh, wait, wardrobe. There's a wardrobe in here. That I can't seem to open. Okay. Wait, so corridor. Patient room corridor. Something... Something about this corridor. Okay. Excuse me! Oh. Hey, it's the... The bitch I killed earlier. What do you want? You're telling me I'm stuck in here? Well, what the? What was that? What's going on? Oh. Yeah, I, uh... I saw that. But yeah, I, I, I got the idea that this was a coffin long before you did. Just saying. Uh, what about it? What? What do you want me to do with this? Yeah, I, I know it's a coffin. What do you want me to do with it? You want me to get inside it? Oh, I can... Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I could push that out, the curtain out of the way. You want me to open all of these? Oh, here we go. I was born to die. But you were different. We had the same blood in our veins, but you were alive. That is why you had to die while you were alive. You, but if you can be alive while you're dead too, we can go back to our little room together. If you can stay alive while dying, the shell will close up tight. If you can stay alive while dying, the flowers will stay in the bloom forever. You are me, you are me. At long last you have become me. This place... In this place, I blossom forever. Yes. Good observation. Uh. To 
store bodies, obviously. Keep talking. Inertia is taking. Say something, even something hurtful. It doesn't matter. How can I make you feel better again? If you're lonely, I'll make you some friends that are alive but dead. Please tell me who you want. I'll find some more today. Or maybe the one who peeped in my room. I will break them. And then there's gonna be somebody in this coffin. I called it! I fucking called it! I knew you were gonna be here. Oh, it's you! Before I killed you again. <laughs> that was easy. You were a pain in the ass the first time. Or technically, the second time. If this is the prequel time. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> All right, what you got? More suicide notes. I thought that if I accept your feelings, I would be all, it would all be over. I don't care anymore if you pushed me on purpose. I don't care that I can't walk anymore. I forgive you for everything. I don't think I should be here because of me. You went into the darkness. Because I let you in, you're never coming back out of the darkness. I understand that now you'll keep looking for me no matter where I hide. No matter where I run, you'll never give up. For all eternity. And so I have no other choice. Praying that into your darkness, light will shine. Not gonna go? Aha! To the... 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 The, the significant corridor. That is the patient room corridor. On floor three. Uh, yes, this is floor three. <laughs> oh, man. Man. People always run so funny in, in all of these games. This isn't the only one. Yeah, I'm going the right way. It's through this door. There's a corridor here. Yes. Okay. Not this one. Not this one. This one. Okay. I like how this game guides me where I need to go by a little, by, by like actually like showing me on the map, like, it's very, very, it's very helpful. In previous games, I kind of lost my sense of direction really easily, so, yeah, this game's being very helpful so far. Ooh. 
Okay. Possibly budded exhibits for severe memory loss, increasing vagueness of self-identity and fear of mirrors. Immediate Moonlight Syndrome Diagnosis. Progression of symptoms is severe. As seen with patient in room 412, frozen moon, advancement of Moonlight Syndrome is clearly connected with the patient's own spiritual potential. Completely recovery from male patients presenting in the syndrome before the age of 12 is very difficult. They often seem to have recovered but are vulnerable to relapses caused by the living environment and emotional trauma. Care must be taken to make thoroughly detailed records of her condition. Scheduled for an experimental application of the procedure to be carried out on the patient in 412, this may provide clues of, on how to treat that patient. Regardly, regarding her refusal to be parted from her special friend, since this allows her to remain stable, do not try to force them apart. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now. Okay. Last but not least, one more. Come on, show yourself. There you are. Ha! Suck it. Suck it. Bitch. Exactly. Oh, I used up all that film. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Now I can do this. Cool. Okay. So, connect fish with fish. Okay. I see. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. You gotta... So it's that kind of thing. Alright. Very cool. Oh. Really? That's it? That was piss easy. Come on.
All right. Work face in the mirror, the panic inducing music that echoes through Rugetsu Hall. Just what kind of treatments were being carried out there? Why do the former patients still haunt the corridors? With doubts and questions racing through her mind, Ruka searches a familiar room. This was her room all those years ago. Phase 6. Alright. So I know that there's now. I now know there's 12, so this is the halfway point. Let's... We are unable to access our room. Oh. What? Okay. Oh, you want me to go this way? Alright then. We still haven't gone through floor 4 yet, have we? Oh, it's a painting, okay. What's this? Come on, there we go. Ooh, silent moot key. From the, uh... The patient room corridor, okay. Oh, yes! Okay, let's see. How, m how many of those do I have right now? Ten. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Alright. Wait, how many red ones do I have? Ten! Yeah, sure, I'll level up. Alright. Cool. That was my phone. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I gotta go the, through the other door. Wait. This door? Alright. Jesus. That's a man! Oh! I did not... I would not have known unless you said that. Alright. This is a very, uh... Visions... Visions take control of the brush in my hand. The black silent. I'm not there. There is no one. There's nothing. My memory is painted black. Then that black is further b blotted out. Even darker. Nothing left but black. The visions will only emerge from the canvas of absolute blackness. I burn my memory and in return I receive my visions. They are brilliant and ever-changing like a kaleidoscope. Fixing these moments into place pierces in my darkness with blinding light. Come. 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 J I mean, come. I saw the, uh... Oh. Oh. Aha. Oh.
crawling man. It looks more like he's acting like a plant. Photosynthesis. Okay. Uh, there we go. This is a very abstract looking room here. Lots of stuff to look at. Alright. Alright, where am I now? Oh, patient room corridor. Oh, I see. You wanted me to take another way. I get ya. Let's see. Is it this door? No, it's been this door. Wait, no, it's back out here. It must have been this door. Aha! Oh, is this... Is this... Is this her room? Yes, it is. All right. You feel nostalgic? Yes, reach through the glass. Instead of just, you know... Opening the cupboard door. That's you, isn't it? That's you as a child, isn't it? Yep. Where is that one? Oh, ha! Oh, cool. How much was that? Five. Okay. Two. I have a new tape, so let's listen to that. Kadetto. <laughs> だいだ。だんだん声がして。それはいつからかな。昨日かな。うん。あ、そうか。帰れる。もうすぐだよ。お父さんもなるの。すぐによくなる。お母さんにもすぐ会える。お父さんも。Can I play this? Hold on. Oh, wait. Uh, I cannot. Okay. Wait. I. Something. There's something over here. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. There's something here. I already flashed it, okay. 
I've been in the hospital a while now. I made friends with girls my age, and the nurses are very nice to me. But I still feel sad sometimes. Why does Daddy make me wear the masks? He wears them, but why do I have to? When the door plays the music for me, I start to remember scary things. I want to get better and remember them for Mommy, but they're too scary. My house, the masks, my Daddy. I see Daddy's back. He turns around and... Blech. I think it's a good, uh... Or was there a music box? I didn't see that. I need to find a cog? Oh, uh, where- I remember seeing that. Where was that? Yeah, yeah, I recognize- I recognize the, uh, I recognize the cot, but I don't remember what room that was in. I remember seeing that. Oh, where- where did I see that? It had to have been in one of these rooms, right? Can, maybe not this one, but... Remember seeing- Aha! I knew it. Alright, cool. Oh. Oh, you again! Actually, no, I'll just use this one. I have plenty of it. easy. <laughs> oh, come on. You've, you've dealt with a lot worse than that. This would be a good opportunity. Yep. Nice. Nice. Good opportunity. Right under the bed. Nice. That's not necessarily a good thing. In the box. In the box. Something about a box. Music box? Maybe I'm about to get it? Let's go back to Ruka's room. Let's insert the cut. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> uh, we'll put it in the right place. Oh, I get to do it. Oh, cool. Oh, very cool. I like this. Oh, it's like... Oh, it's like the puzzles from the Saw games. Very cool.
Oh, I get it. Okay. I can do that. And then, yeah! Ha! Very cool. I'm liking the puzzles in this game. Oh, do I have to recreate? Ah. Oh. Okay, let's see. Which one is... Which one's B? Okay, that... Okay. Oh, I s Okay. It's showing arrows. Okay. There we go. I didn't see the air- the fucking... Parents room? Maybe? Okay. Today I was playing in the garden. I heard a knock-knock noise from my workplace. I thought it was my daddy. I haven't seen daddy in a long time. Daddy's always making masks. I feel sad that he's not here to hug me or play with me. When I ask mommy where his work will be done, she never answers. Whoa, what? Oh. Do you want me to go in here? Yes. Oh. 
I saw Ruka standing outside in the garden bathing in the moonlight. I rushed out and held her in my arms, but she didn't even seem to notice me, just muttering herself, her expression completely blank. As if this weren't enough, she started to show a fear of mirrors. I had to talk with Dr. Herbera before she puts. <laughs> if I don't get her to see seen to as soon as possible, it may be too late to save her. There's something I wanted to give Ruka, but I don't think sh she's fit to receive it yet. I'll wait until she gets better and can show me her beautiful smile again. He made Ruka try on masks in front of the altar. Different kinds of masks. He made her do it. This is the reason Ruka got sick. Did he do this to her? He's changed. He's been spending longer and longer at the workshop every day, and when he comes home, he has such an indescrib indescribably heavy aura around him. I feel like the shadows in his eyes have darkened while the strange light behind him grown brighter and more intense with each passing day. He sounds so impatient when he talks to me, like he hasn't gotten time to spare, but he won't even tell us what it is that he's chasing after. But whatever it is, he's clearly willing to sacrifice everything for it, even us. What drives him? Just thinking about it makes my heart, the, a heart that wants so much to trust him, t tremble in fear. Will my Soya become home to me when this work is finished? No, he's never coming back. That's what I ha I've come to think. He's no longer the Soya I once knew. The Soya I fell in love with and had a child with. Our child. I have to get Ruka away from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God, my phone just sends me the same text like twice after after two minutes later. Wait, what? Oh. There you are. Is that him? Yep. Oh, bad idea, dude. Bad idea. Why would you... Okay. Tomorrow's the festival. I get put on a mask and watch the dance. I'm looking forward to going to see with, with everyone, but I don't want to forget things like I do when I put on other masks. Wait. The sickness I have makes things I, rem I remember go away. It makes people I can't meet anymore and people who died to go away. Daddy's going away. When I try to remember him, I feel scared, but I don't. But if I don't remember him, he'll go away. The daddy in my head is going to die. I'm scared. I'm scared to remember, but don't go. 
Oh. Fuck Eno, who's Eno? I guess we'll just leaving it there. Alright. What's this key for? The key items. Blossom design. Yeah, okay, already unlocked that door. I guess I'll try different doors then. Well, what? Oh. This is just the same room, okay. Yes, need five more. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, more passages. All right. Heavy atmosphere has fallen on the infirmary. Staff members dying, patients disappearing. A sudden gut of glut of hat sadness. I think ever since that day, the patient's behavior had grown even stranger, and the nurse's patients are being crushed under the melancholy. I'm trying to distract myself from it by focusing on my work. I've been covering t Nurse Tono's responsibility since her death, watching the third floor until they find a proper replacement for her. But no sooner I had taken over her work now than a patient was leaving, one of the girls who'd been kidnapped. I was tidying up her room when I found a diary with a belonged to her mother. They're both leaving the island, so I doubt anyone will be able to pick it up anytime soon. This, this island may be pit, painful memories for them, but no matter what happens, it'll always be their home. They might come back one day. I'll keep it safe for them until they do. Hi. I'm gonna take your picture. <laughs> oh, there's something over there. What, use the key? Sorry, Ruku, I don't think I can take it anymore. When the detective told me about how he found you, everything I believe was shattered in an instant. He said the underground cave where you f were found connect to the lift in the Habera Infirmary. I asked for Dr. Harabera to admit you that infirmary so you could get better. I realize now that this was a mistake. And when I heard about the clothes you were wearing when he found you, and the state of the cave, I can't bear to think that he could involve you in all of this. 
if he had anything to do with it, there may be no longer be any place where he can be safe. Where we can be at peace. I asked Mr. Shimura to bring me to the place where you were found, down the connecting passage from Getsu Hall, then down the underneath the infirmary, the lift didn't even have a button for it yet, but even further beneath the first underground floor. That was the place. The expansion work was being abandoned when it hit the old primal fa passage directly underneath the moon glow well. The only light in the dark place was the thin moonlight from the well. My skin crawled. I couldn't stop trembling. I stood there. I cried. What happened to you? What could have possibly happened to destroy your mind like this? Mr. Kuryu said that your memories were lost. You're lucky to be alive. He said the most imp important thing is to help you attain the shaky grip you, grip you have is what's left on your mind. He also said this to me. If you're allowed to rest and convalesce your soul slowly, slowly, you will be able to return to having a normal life one day. <laughs> but you wasn't, mustn't try to remember the things that have happened before you, you lost your memory. If you try too hard to do that, your mind may as well snap again. You might even blossom. I know this is hard for you to have lost the irreplaceable memories, but I have made sure you don't try to remember them. I have to face the future. I have to hold your hand firmly in mind and move on. Starting now, I only want to make good memories. Aha. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, nice. Let's upgrade my max power. There we go. Alright. So the note said something about... See, something about... Yeah, wait. No, fuck. Yeah. Getsu Hall. Connecting passage from Getsu Hall. Okay. So, uh, apparently I took a wrong turn somewhere. There we go. Yeah, I, uh... I took a wrong turn somewhere, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut some of this shit out. Okay, yeah, this way. Okay, let's see. Except I'm gonna switch to this. There we go. Something here. Wait, exam what are you trying to get me to examine? There we go. What's this? A key. Possibly to the door that I... Yep, okay. <laughs> yeah, I get it, I gotcha.
Nurse on watch duty. What the fuck? Oh my god, why didn't I get any warning? I was just trying to pick up an item, bitch. Fucker. There we go. Come on, get over here. There we go. Come on, get get over here. Just hurry up. There. What about the item? There we go. Okay. Alright, let me through the door. Get up the stairs. There we go. Yeah, this way. There we go. Let's go. I saw the... Come on. Yes. Ooh. There we go. Oh. There we go. Give you a little bit of damage right before you disappear.
Oh, what? What? What the fuck? Why why are you still alive? Die, bitch. There. That was just shenanigans right there. I already killed him. Whatever. I sure take your sweet ass time opening the door. Oh, it's this area. So you want me to take the stairs? The fuck? She is a woman sitting on the lift. So underneath the elevator. Or under underneath the basement, rather. Where? Man waiting for lift. Oh. Qua qua. Half moon. Yes. Damn, I finished an entire phase in one video. Alright. I'm going to end that there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the next part. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Take care.